Welcome on the Lancaster University campus tour. We're going to start on the north end of campus and work our way down. First up, it's the Leica building. A 24 hours access building that costs 10 million pounds. It has AV seminar facilities, digital art labs, wood and metal workshops, and digital editing equipment. This is where art, design, film, and theatre students typically are located in their studios. Next to Leica building is the County College, the largest undergraduate college with every accommodation type but not catered. To me, it's the best college, but disclaimer, I am a county student, so I have to say that. Up next is the Great Hall. This is where you'll experience some of your biggest moments at university. From your welcome week talk, to freshers fair, to sitting exams, to even your graduation ceremony. This is a building you'll never forget. Moving on from the Great Hall, we go towards the multi-faith building, also known as the Chaplaincy. It's one of the most prominent buildings at Lancaster and you're sure to see it when you arrive here. Just opposite the building is Boland College and the Welcome Centre, where you can go to if you need any help. In one of the Boland quads, you will find Lancaster University Student Union. One of the most iconic buildings of Lancaster belongs to Boland College and it is the Boland Tower. We all secretly want to go there. Just north of Alexandra Square, you will find the Faraday Complex, which houses three lecture theatres, Faraday, Cavendish and Franklin. Outside, you'll find a new physics garden. Alexandra Square is the heart of Lancaster University campus. Either side, you will find the spine, the north and the south end. If you follow either one, you'll be able to get to most academic buildings and it makes it easier to navigate around the campus. On Alexandra Square itself, you can find the Learning Zone, the Base, the Library, various eateries and places to drink, cash machines and the underpass, which is basically places where you can grab the bus. The Library, well, that speaks for itself. But one thing that's special about Lancaster University Library is we have a goddamn tree in the library. We have a tree in the library. I'll let that sink in. Outside we have the base, which is basically places you can go for various supports. Just south of Alex Square is Edward Roberts Court. Not that anyone ever remembers that that's its name, but this houses most eateries on Lancaster campus and it's the place you're very much likely to end up after a night out, as it has the best food ever. Just south of Edward Roberts Court is Finesse, which is the smallest of all colleges. It prides itself on having a tight-knit community and it houses the Faculty of Health and Medicine. Just down the road from Finesse College you'll find Fylde College and you'll also find the Maths and Stats Postgraduate Building which is the one next to Bonington Steps. Fylde is got a bit of a reputation for being the sporty college but it also has one of the best bars on campus in my opinion. It has good food, there's TV on the go all the time and the best pool tables. What else could you really need? Next to Fylde College you will find the Engineering Building which opened in 2015 and is expanded so that it could specialise in further things such as nuclear energy and chemical engineering. So they're the new type of facilities that we have here. It is a goddamn sexy building. Next to the Engineering Building is the Management School which is about to undergo a huge transformation as a refurbishment and expansion project is undertaken. Here are a few of the designs to let you see what the management school is expected to look like in a few years time. If you continue down the spine, you'll find George Fox, which has the largest lecture theatre we have at Lancaster, which can sit 300 students. As we continue down the spine, we now get to Grisdale College. Grisdale is predominantly townhouse accommodation and arguably has the most modern, trendy bar on campus. So if a bar is really important to you, look no further. Also, Grisdale is located near Central, which is a student union shop. You're welcome. Up next, it's Pendle. This college is heavy on the bar sports and I've never seen so much camaraderie and loyalty. I know at least three people with Pendle tattoos. That speaks volumes to me. 
As we get to the end of the spine, we reach InfoLab 21, which houses the School of Computing and Communications, and it also has a cafe on the top, which is really good for vegetarian and vegan food. It also marks the transition to Alexandra Park, where we'll find the next three colleges. First up, it's Grad College, the largest college at Lancaster University with over 5,000 students. It specifically has masters and PhD students. Its pub is the Herdwick and it's a traditional pub and it's great. We're now getting so far south that Cartmel has a different postcode to the rest of the university. Cartmel College has amazing catered accommodation and it also has a cash machine which is very handy. Down the road from Cartmel is our final college which is Lonsdale. It has a reputation for being a bit of a party college and only has superior on suite accommodation. Our last stop on this campus tour is to the Sports Centre. A £20 million building which houses facilities such as climbing wall, gym, badminton courts, pool and squash courts. It also has sauna and steam room. I hope this campus tour has been useful. If you have any further questions just comment them below and I'll be sure to answer. But for now, just enjoy some scenery. Bye!